Hello, Popchick. This is your Bible here. And today I want to give big shout out to Winnipeg. Um, first of all, because um, you are my number one Facebook page fan. It's over 10,000 people now. It's actually 10,600 something people on my Facebook page, Baba's Kitchen, Ukrainian Soul Food. And um, Winnipeg visits my page more than anybody else. Uh, second one is Edmonton. And third one is uh, Saskatoon. Fourth is Toronto. And um, then uh, what come next? Oh, um, Kiev. People from Kiev come visit Baba. It's nice, you know. And, and also it's interesting how many recent uh, Ukrainian immigrants um, from uh, Kiev area and Lviv area come out when Baba do library reading too. So anyway, um, also Baba want to tell you that you know her family when we first come from Western Ukraine, we settle around Winnipeg. Some of us are farm and some of us um, are right in city and we are involved with the uh, Ukrainian National Home and we hang out there at the uh, uh, Burroughs and McGregor at Tarasjalchenko Park. You know, my favorite tea, tree in the whole world is very big old tree there in corner of of. Shevchenko Park, if you you know it, if if you live there, and um, also my family, we sponsor Rusalka dancers, best best dancers. Oi, you have to see, you have to see wherever you are in the world, you must see Rusalka. So anyway, um, oh, oh, now I am going to get mail saying, oh, Baba, now no, we have better dance company. How you say Rusalka? I, I, this is from, this is our dance company in Winnipeg. I am loyal person. Okay. Okay. So, um, I want, second reason I want to talk to you about Winnipeg is because, uh, we are going to a little bit discuss cooking onions. And there is a place in Winnipeg that knows something about onions no one else knows, is, is big baking cooking secret. Okay, so everybody say, Baba, you know, I want to caramelize onion, but it looks so complicated. You know, these chefs on TV, they always want to make it look like they're so doing something so difficult. You know what caramelized onion mean? You throw onion in cast iron or a steel pan with a little bit butter, and you just need patience. You cook, 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 and in, in fry in pan until onion juices run out, and the onion have natural sugar in it. And because of sugar, uh, it starts to turn nice goldy brown like Jersey cow eye. Okay, and this is sugar, caramel. You don't have to, you know, people think you have to add special ingredient to make caramel. You don't. It just come natural from onion. And and you don't want to use nonstick pan. You want to you want onion to stick a little bit, okay? So you do have to stand over it and do some scrape, scrape, scrape. And um, you know, so um oh my sweater coming undone. I do going to give you show here. I don't think so. Okay, so um, in camera operator, keep on my face. So even this button come undone, nobody know. Okay, a modest person. Okay, so but you know, maybe maybe you should pan out a little bit, and I show you my my special necklace. Her Dan here from uh, was hand beaded in Ivan Frankiusk. Beautiful beautiful all one piece woven together not not even a clasp just all one piece beautiful um, these are available on my website anyway so I was talking about caramelizing onions so you just scrape 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 and when it get brown you scrape up that stuff and put it back in the onion and keep turning it over till everything is nice caramel brown okay and this tastes wonderful on any kind of food okay um, and also you can freeze it and and then take it out the freezer if you ever want on top of on top of hamburger or, or or pasta or anything else you cook. Okay, so in Winnipeg is a restaurant called Salisbury House, and they do something going to blow you out from your mind. All right. If you have been out maybe having a little bit, couple drinks, you are dancing late at night. You go to Salisbury House and you ask for toasted cinnamon bun. 
all right? And what they do is they split bun in middle, they slap on lots of butter, and then they fry it face down on the same grill where they've been cooking onions all day. Oy, oy, oy. Torehenka. It tastes like something out from this world. All right. And um, you, sorry, but you're going to have to forget any kind of diet, schmiet, and your, your wheat belly <laughs> program because this, this um, dish, you know, it just have everything bad for you. But, you know, once a week, you, you go, go have something like that and you're really going to enjoy. Okay. So um, big shout out to Winnipeg people and Salisbury House and everything that, that I, I miss, you know, about, about it uh, now living. In, in BC, so so many wonderful memories in in Winnipeg and Manitoba. So um, oh, and Poopchick, if if you like uh, this uh, cooking tip, you should subscribe to my free newsletter. If you are on Facebook, link is right there above. Just click sign up. If you are on YouTube, sign up link is right below. And once every four to six weeks, you're going to get uh, some kind of tip and recipe from Baba that is not in my book. And um, this is my book right here. Baba's Kitchen Ukrainian Soul Food you can buy from Amazon or Barnes & Noble um, or from uh, Yevshand is a good uh, Ukrainian distributor in Canada. Um, and uh, But every month I, I send you extra recipe that is actually not in book and uh, just by email. Okay, so um, just sign up for that and you're going to get it. All right, don't you take no wooden cabbage bowl. Cabbage rolls. Poop chick. <laughs>